Hi everybody, it's Heather from Mompy Center for Teaching and Learning, and I want to talk a couple minutes about a great tool that we have available in Brightspace called My Portfolio. So My Portfolio allows you to save artifacts and projects for your different courses across your courses, and the amazing thing is it'll even allow you to access those artifacts that you save in your portfolio after the course is closed, which is very helpful. So you can access the portfolio tool through any across any of your classes in the home page. You can see right here that I'm in my system home page. You access it by clicking on your profile in the top right. And when you open that, a menu will open. This is where we go to access our notification settings. Only we're going to go to my portfolio. When my portfolio opens, you can see that I can access any of the classes that I'm enrolled in. I can scroll down and see all of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just enter in a course that I've already started to, to collect some artifacts in. I can always tell the class that I'm collecting artifacts for because it'll say right at the top and it'll also have the course banner. Now you can see here that I've collected several different artifacts. I've uploaded a PDF from my desktop. You can also upload a Word. I've uploaded or connected to a Google Drive document and also to a Microsoft Office document. So how I add those is I click the blue button that says Add to Portfolio. And here's where you get those choices. You can either drag and drop from your desktop or click Browse, and you can browse your desktop for those files or you can click Upload from Google Drive or OneDrive. And when you click those options, it'll ask you to log in and then it'll bring up your contents and you can just select from there. Once everything is added, you can enter into the individual artifacts. And there's a couple things that you can do from this panel. You can upload an audio file so you can give a verbal um, outline of what this artifact is, what it's for, why you're adding it. Um, you can also click into the text box below to add a text reflection or description of your learning object. Don't forget to click add so it saves it. And there's also the ability to add a category. Now, sometimes your class will have categories in the portfolio, like learning outcomes or program learning outcomes. Sometimes categories will be added by the teacher, and those categories might look like different assignment types. So after everything is submitted, it'll signal my teacher to go in and approve my artifact submission, and I can see the feedback once they go in and either accept it or tell me what I need to do um, to fix it right in this teacher feedback area. And if there's a rubric attached, I can see the rubric information right here. Whenever I'm done updating my reflection for each artifact, I can go back to my main portfolio and I can also click back again to go to the main portfolio page and click back once, and more, once more to go back to my home page so I can access any of my classes or course content. So I hope that you have fun with this tool. I hope that you're able to utilize it relatively easily. Um, as always, if you have any challenges, go ahead and give IT a call. Otherwise, happy collecting, and we'll talk to you soon.